सुना है यू आर सेलिंग योर स्कूटर या गोर न्यू कार सही है बिग बोनस तो सेविंग्स सेविंग तो मैं भी करती हूँ उसे कार नहीं आती मैं काफी सालों से हर महीने म्यूचुअल फंड्स में थोड़ा थोड़ा सेव कर रही हूँ कुछ फंड्स बेच दिए वॉट न्यू का सही है म्यूचुअल फंड निवेश बाजार जोखिमों के अधीन है योजना से जुड़े सभी दस्तावेजों को ध्यान से पढ़ें। Cool. So you had the chance to see the Indian domestic talent as well. So how do you think their standard is, and who are your some of the players you noticed? Yeah, I think the the Indian local talent has been outstanding, and we've seen some great performances from a lot of people. Um, I think the tournament. I think uh, Saika from Mumbai Indians has really stood out for mm -hmm. me. She's taken a lot of wickets and and been a really key player for Mumbai Indians. Um, I played with her in the T20 Challenge last year, so so know a little bit, and she's a great girl, but. Yeah, great to see someone like her do really well on on this kind of stage, and yeah, hopefully it's a it's a great. Hopefully you can push on and and get in that India side in the future. Cool. So India international is like Harleen Diol is part of your side. So <laughs> did she make you dance? Uh, she's she's given it a good go. Um, yeah, Harleen's been great. Made us feel so welcome, and yeah, she's always dancing around. I've I've given her a few moves. Probably not a laugh, but. Whenever our last night is, don't know when that will be, but whenever it is, we, we've promised that we'll we'll have a dance with her. So yeah, hopefully she'll be happy then. <laughs> okay, you have played in the hundred, the fair break tournament, and now the WPL. How do you think the franchise cricket tournaments are going to change the future of women's cricket? Yeah, look, I think the last year has been a, a massive change in in the women's game. Um, it's really taken off, and there's been way more interest in it, which is which is amazing to see. And I think. Tournaments like this are just uh, great to grow the game. I mean, yesterday obviously we were on the the end of a of a pretty hard game, um, but you know what a spectacle that is. Sophie Devine's inning was probably one of the best I've seen in real life, and you know we got 188, which is a pretty good score. And, and mm -hmm. to chase that down and however many overs they did, it, it just shows how far the game's come. So um, there's been a few games like that, and it's just great to see the women's game progressing, and, and hopefully that will just get more and more people wanting to come and play. Yeah. So, how do you think the future of women's Premier League will pan out? Um, yeah, I mean, look, I'm, I'm only expecting it to get bigger and better. I guess there'll be more teams in the future, um, and yeah, probably a bit of a longer competition, um, which would be great because I think we've seen some great cricket on show, and to have that for longer would be great, and to get more overseas involved as well, and, and some more teams would also be amazing in the future. So, I'm sure it's got a long life ahead, and, and it's doing wonders for the women's game already. Yeah. So in franchise cricket, you have to play under different captains. You are having a different teammates from different sets of countries, different players, also domestic players, be it in England or India. So how challenging is those different experiences? Yeah, I think um, for me, I've not played loads of franchise cricket um, as an overseas, so it's been a great challenge for me. And I think um, obviously everyone's got different ideas of how they want to play and different tactics, but. Um, I guess what I've learned is it's really important to stay true to yourself and how you play your cricket and how that fits into the team really. So um, yeah, I think obviously taking on board everyone else's opinions and how the team wants to play, but really staying true to my style of cricket and, and knowing that if I play my best, that will um, benefit the team. Yeah, very well put. So, what are the future goals for Sophia Dangli be like? Uh, the future goals, I guess, look um, really heartbreaking to, to exit the World Cup like we did. Um, you know, we, we want to start winning trophies as an England side and I think a big goal for me is just to keep um, impacting the England team and contributing in as many games as possible. Um, I feel like I've, I've made my, um, got my role at, at the top of the order in T20s for England and, and in the ODI cricket so I just want to consistently be performing and, and try and bring home as many trophies really and, and, show, and show the world how, um, how good our England side is. And, and hopefully we can we can come out on top um, in the next few competitions that we're playing in. Yeah, following up on that, you talked about trophies and playing for England. There are multiple tournaments. T20 World Cup is in next year, and there is an ODI World Cup after the year after that. So, how are you planning to play your role as the top order batter? Um, look, I think obviously got the Ashes coming up as well this summer. Yeah. Um, the way we want to play as an England team is is inspire and entertain, and we want to play really brave and aggressive cricket, which I think suits me really well. So, just trying to really instill those values into my cricket, and and look, sometimes it comes off and sometimes it doesn't. And that's cricket, and and that's what happens when you take more risks. But I think we've got a really good chance to to become one of the most aggressive teams in the world, and and we're really passionate about that. So, yeah, I'm just going to be really brave in my cricket, and you know, I want to be a game changer going forward. I want to impact games. So. 
yeah, I'm just going to keep keep trying to do that and keep being brave and, and hopefully entertain some people on the way as well. Yeah, hopefully more trophies are coming to the England and Gujarat <laughs> Giants cabinet. Uh, thank you, Sophia. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Yeah.